Hello and welcome to the lecture. So we'll continue with the other handlers. So we'll create one handler. Let me start with uh, creating a put handler so that will update the records. So over here the method should be a put because already a get is written so that's why it's not populating here. So I'm choosing put and I will leave the fields as it is and to write the logic I have to write a PL sequence statement here so I have written already and let me copy this and paste it here so what this does was we are just updating the table which is EBA countries and we are setting that population so as if you can see that response here, this is for the Spain and the population is varying maybe and other things will be fixed. So I'm just updating the population alone for this example. So that's why I'm choosing this. So I'm just updating the table with the parameter as the population and with the specific country ID that will be passed through uri because this is that specific template and the next one i need to return a response right so what population we are updating so that's the thing to show in the form of a json object so we have a package there that's the apex underscore json so this is just opens the object so it will be printing this line and then writing the object so this will be the key as the first parameter and the value which we are updating so you can see that will be printing like this this as the variable and then we are just closing the object that closes it so automatically it will take this as response and now we need to define the parameters for this handler so let's start with the country id first so i'm just putting country id and yeah i just used a plus by mistake okay so this was an id and it's an in and it's a uri and it will be a integer so uh, one more thing is the population so let's put the name as the population and population as the bind variable and then this would be a header and we need to define that in the header and yeah so next we'll define this in the integer and yeah that's it so let's save this and create the handler with this put request so the source type would be plsql automatically and we need to fill in the form of plsql with a begin end block yeah so its handler is created so let's go to postman with the same template in the previous one so you can see that this is a get request we are sending and getting the data and this population is we are going to update so let me copy this and we'll change this to put request and let the other things find so we'll give a header here so that will be the same as the bind variable it should match and we'll give the value to this and we'll increment to one so just for an example and we will this will be a put request and let's see so let's send it and you can get the response immediately that's the updated population so if you want to check with the respect to that spain so let's check this once and revert back to get or we can copy this and go to another tab and paste it here with no headers and let's keep on send and this seems the updated one you can get it so that's how it automatically commits and gives the response and the response is a mandatory one and then you'll get the right data to be seen from the response so that's how you should do as a practice as a concept so whatever the parameters you're updating you need to send that to the user so that the corresponding updates and things needs to be 
same even for post request you need to show what are the new row is added and for the delete request we need to see what the deleted one is that's how the basic response things needs to be done and one more thing the very important thing these apis are very open now and even if this uh, service is enabled even you can access it and i need to protect that so we need to give some authorization which we can see here so that things we need to protect that template and the modules everything we need to protect that using this privileges and the rules concept and we'll see that in the next lecture